Body cam footage released today shows the moment that a no-knock police raid by the Minneapolis police resulted in the almost immediate murder of a 22-year-old black man named Amir Locke in his apartment. He was sleeping when they busted in and less than 10 seconds later, he was dead. We are going to show you this video, but understand the content of it. It is incredibly graphic, obviously, and might well be triggering for many people. So with that warning, here is the footage that was released. So devastatingly, in the same area where police killed George Floyd using the same technique that resulted in the death of Breonna Taylor, another individual has been killed. Obviously that footage was slowed down. I don't know exactly why it was released that way, but that is the way that the video has been released. We wanna give you a little bit more information about this. Importantly, he was not the individual that they were even there for. That of course would not justify what you saw in the video, but they were not there for him. They'd been carrying out a warrant on Wednesday morning for the St. Paul Police Department's homicide unit. Chief Huffman of that unit said that officers had a warrant for three locations in the apartment complex and that Amir Locke was not named in the original warrant. Now Locke did have a gun in his hand according to police, but it's unclear whether he was aware that police officers had entered his apartment. And that is buttressed by the fact that he had just woken up seconds earlier had not done anything wrong, was legally allowed to have that gun. And only in a case like this where it's a black man being killed, would any conservative argue that he shouldn't have had a gun in his hand if he didn't want to be immediately executed by the police. Yeah, so that, look, I, I have more to say, but obviously we want to hear what you and Adrian have to say about all this. Okay, yeah, so first of all, there's two potential scenarios here. And, and I know why, I think I know why they released uh, uh, the video in slow motion and and regular speed. And I watched it in both. Uh, and I think that they did the slow motion one so that you have a better chance of seeing the gun. And I didn't see it in the regular speed one, uh, but I think I might have seen it in the slow motion one. It's hard to tell. So the two scenarios are he has a gun and he doesn't have a gun. So in the one where he doesn't have a gun, it's the most outrageous killing you've ever seen. They wake the guy up and it, it, they say 10 seconds, but most of it was outside opening the door. But when they enter the apartment, it's only two or three seconds and then boom, that he's dead. Uh, they shoot him. It's, it, it would, if he doesn't have a gun, it's the most outrageous shooting you've ever seen. Walk into a guy, wake him up, and shoot, execute him, right? Um, but if he does have a gun, to John's point, right wing, be really careful about whose side you're on. Because if you say the police can come into any house, wake you up, and you have no idea who they are, I mean, that guy had about a second when he woke up. And, and then if you reach for your gun that you have perfectly legally in this country, the police can instantly execute you. That is a very, very dangerous standard. And actually would put, if, the, if our entire system wasn't obviously and overtly racist, it would put the right wing in greater danger than anyone else because they have more guns. Um, of course, they think, nah, they'll just shoot black people with it, they won't shoot me. That'll be largely correct statistically. But sometimes they'll shoot you too, Adrian. You know what, this seems even far more egregious than what happened to Breonna Taylor, just by virtue of the fact that this individual didn't have any time to react, to respond, to really do anything. And they had moved so incredibly quickly, sleeping again. And it's just wrong location, every bit about it. And you know, it's just, it's something that seems to happen so incredibly often, especially in Minneapolis where the black population is what 19%, yet we are 66% of the people that police kill. It just, it's, it's wild to me that we still live in a country that continues to allow this behavior and to condone it. But it's just, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's disgusting and this 22 year old man lost his life. And now we are going to be now in the space of social media of essentially debating his humanity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. There should, there should be no debate whatsoever. In addition to the, 
Like the right wing, I am only going to guess, is just not going to touch this because they know it puts them in a, in a possible position because they want cops to continue to do stuff like this to people like Amir Locke specifically. Um, but they don't want to answer any of those questions about guns. These are people that fantasize literally every single day about the possibility that a pack of like leather clad marauders are gonna storm across their yard and break down their door. So obviously they have to have cannons and flamethrowers and rocket launchers. And yet they're perfectly fine with Amir Locke being put in a position where he has to wake up and in a second decide there are people breaking down my door yelling at me. I can either shoot and if I don't and they are just random people, they might kill me. Or if I even look like I might be a threat and they're cops, they'll definitely kill me. So you have a quarter of a second to make that decision. There's not a right winger in the world that thinks that that is acceptable to put a conservative in that position, a white person in that position. And they, they're, they're not gonna be able to say that. And so I have a feeling they're just not going to touch this with a 10 foot pole. Yeah, last couple of points here. First, um, it, if you're thinking, really Minneapolis again? Again, it's in Minnesota, that's George Floyd and about half a dozen Massive nationwide, uh, dis nationwide discussed uh, cases all coming out from the same state. Gee, I wonder if there's a problem with the training of the police officers. Nope, nope, we're never gonna fix it. Never, ever going to fix it. Not just in that state and then that city, but all across the country. Um, and to John's point about the right wing, it's not just marauders, John. It's they. Their number one fantasy is that jackbooted thugs of the tyrannical government come That's to true. their door, which I always explain is the police, mm -hmm. and then they get to murder the cops. Are you sure you're gonna be able to pull the gun fast enough? He was killed in about two seconds once they entered the apartment. And by the way, he did, if the cops are telling the truth, he did pull the gun and then he was killed. So how are you gonna fight them? Are you gonna be awake all night waiting for the cops? And then as soon as they come, you're gonna go kill the cops before they kill you. This is madness, this is insanity. We can't live like this. And so, which then of course brings me back to the training. So it never occurred to the cops in Minnesota that if you're going into a situation like this, somebody might have a legal gun. They might be a legal gun owner or you might have the wrong person. You heard all that stuff about Breonna Taylor case where it was the same exact scenario, but actually to Adrian's point, it took much longer, right, in the Breonna Taylor situation. Mm -hmm. Here, they shoot within two seconds, like they did with Tamir Rice, like they did with the Crawford in the Walmart shooting in Ohio. And so, can we please train the police not to execute people instantly? Oh, well, they had a gun. Well, yeah, of course, some of them are gonna have a gun. So is your idea, okay, we go into a house, if God forbid we have the wrong house or the wrong person, etc. let's just execute them and then sort it out later. That is their plan, that yeah. is their plan. They don't train them, oh, if there's a gun and just in case that might be the wrong person or you should tell them to put their, your hands up, you should wait for them to wake up and hence you should have shields, you should go in, in a certain way, you have to give them a second and a half before you take their life. No, apparently there's no such training at all. The only thing we train cops to do is to execute people. It's and, and it's interesting because they only seem to execute black people. But when it comes mm -hmm. to also this officer, it's like these officers, they said that Locke had pointed the gun at them. You can see in the video that that's not the case to the extent that he had the gun and it was pointing anywhere. It was downward, plus also he only had a mere several seconds of a waking up. I, I can barely balance myself when I wake up. And especially with someone screaming and yelling at me and pointing a light in my face, like the man didn't even have a chance to survive this encounter. And it's, it's just, it continues to show you how often that essentially police do not intend for individuals to live. It does not matter, they create these deadly situations and then just do a shoulder shrug of, well, I guess it happened, but at least yeah. I was scared and I had to survive. Yeah, last thing, if if the right wing wasn't so racist, they'd be 100% on our side on this issue. It's the jackbooted thugs of the government break into your house, you're a legal gun owner and they murder you in two seconds. You're innocent. You're innocent, it's, a, it's the right wing should be like as fervent as they have ever been in, in defense of Amir Locke. But he's black, so my guess is they, in a best case scenario, they won't say a word. In a normal case scenario, as Adrian alluded to earlier, they'll go now after he's dead, try to character assassinate 
Amir Locke and say, oh, no, it was worth it. It was, it was justified. He's black. And I mean, he once had detention in junior high. And let's just try him now in the court of public opinion. So we, we applaud cops for killing black people. So that's likely what's going to happen. But at best, you'll get neutrality. When if they had any principles at all, the right wing should be livid about this. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.